Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. With South Korea's daily COVID-19 tally expected to be in the mid-500 range today, experts are predicting that health authorities will extend the country's current social distancing scheme for another three weeks. Although there has not been a sharp spike in the daily figures, health authorities are warning against the rising number of small cluster infections. As such, the ban on gatherings of more than five people is expected to also stay in place. Defense Minister s h o u k convened another key military commander meeting yesterday, just 13 days after the previous one, to address the issue of poor quality food served on military bases. The ministry had announced the comprehensive measures to improve the soldiers' living conditions, including their meals, but false reporting from military leadership on some bases regarding the successful implementation of the measures came under suspicion after an army member exposed the subpar quality of lunch he was served on Wednesday. Yoon y u g u n a police senior superintendent on trial for alleged corruption charges related to the Burning Sun scandal, was found guilty of some charges in the appeals court, which sentenced him to a 20 million won fine for soliciting the destruction of evidence and violating the Capital Markets Act. The appellate court overturned the not guilty verdict ruled in the trial court, citing Yoon made unjust profits in the stock market using the material inside information he obtained from Mr. Chung, the former CEO of Cubes, the predecessor of Nogon CNI. Yoon was also found guilty of telling Mr. Chung to delete the text messages between the two when police launched an investigation into two other defendants, K pop singer s u n g n i and former CEO of Yudi Holdings. Yu In s u k Finally, banks will review the fraud and embezzlement history of cryptocurrency exchange executives and employees to assess their money laundering risk and validate cryptocurrency business operators. This new policy is drawing attention to whether BitThumb can pass the commercial bank's validation hurdle, as the alleged fraud case against its de facto owner, Lee Jung Hoon, has been sent to the prosecution. Lee is facing prosecutorial investigation for failing to follow through after telling investors that the BXA token would list on the exchange and leading them to invest 30 billion won for that coin. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, pop and culture.